Hi, how y'all doing? It's April 1st, 2023. Happy New Year. Why do I say Happy New Year? Because in actuality, today is the first day of the year. Happy New Year, right? Spring has sprung. That's the beginning of our new year. It is. You go check the Julian and the Gregorian calendars, right? They've all been messed up. They've been adding time and stealing time. So changing months, adding months, stuff like that, right? So yeah, April Fool's Day, right? On us, because they're liars. So yeah, April Fool's Day on them. We figured it out. Um, the Schumann Resonance is at 26 today. How are you feeling with that? I have some pain came back in my rib. I went shopping, grocery shopping this rising. And yeah, my walking wasn't that great in the grocery store. I started hurting and getting tired real fast, running out of energy. But I made it out of there. I did. The people energy, the energy and the people are still about the same. Except for I did see a few people with a smile on their face. So yeah a bit better at least a couple of people right yeah i like to see people smiling so um here's some proof on the banks and everything uh crashing and the the money the nasergis era thing right it might not be called that exactly or it might have changed is what they're saying the truthers right but a sign that is coming is the president of Kenya, I watched a video of him, gave a speech to his citizens, his public, his people, let's say people, um, to get rid of all their American dollars. He says they're going to be worthless. Get rid of them now. If you're holding a lot of American money, he says get rid of it, right? So, yeah, it's because of the bricks. Right? All these nations that join together that aren't using the fiat US dollar anymore, the oil backed dollar, right? They've gone to different monies thanks to Putin, right? He started it with a ruble. So, yeah, it is a sign. There's signs everywhere. I've been telling you that, haven't I? I have. You can look it up for yourself. Don't take anything I say for granted. Do your own research. That's how I find stuff out. I do research, right? And then I use my third eye and I I uh, see the truth in it because lies are just makes my soul angry. So I know what's true and what's a lie by my, my uh, energy, my emotions, okay? Um, what was the other thing? Um, oh yeah, another thing about that Trump's indictment, okay? That is not arrested. I looked it up, the meaning of indicted, right? It's somebody saying that this person uh, broke the law and we should morally judge them. Okay? Kind of thing. Look it up yourself. Go look it up. Don't go use Google. It's, it's censored. Find a better search engine. DuckDuckGo is what I use. It's getting harder too, but it's still pretty good. Um, the woman, Stormy Daniels, that he was uh, reported to have uh, paid off as a prostitute or whatever the heck it was about sex. It's always about sex with these people, isn't it? Penis envy, big time. They all have, right? Um, actually, when this went down years ago, um, the judge charged her and she had to pay Trump for lying, right? So it looks like the Democrats are... Um, grasping at straws and it could be um one of those look over here don't look over there kind of thing right because they like to get you scared and riled up so they can manifest with your emotions yeah so don't fall for it okay it is what it is let's wait and see right things are going to turn out they are they really are everything's been returned and we're just waiting to um has been returned to the good. I should finish that sentence. Now we're just waiting for the finale, right? The big send-off where people are told the banks have crashed. People have told who the real presidents are in the world. 
Um, yeah, stuff like that. Okay. Sure is a gray day here today in Ontario, Canada, where I'm at. It is. They've covered up the sky real good today. Real good. So, something's afoot. They're doing stuff up there. You know they are. Right? They really are. So, yeah. Um, anything else? I haven't seen any animals or, or I mean, creatures or birds today at all. I heard them birds this morning, but... Yeah, I haven't seen any flying around or nothing. So, hmm. Interesting. My oldest son, too, went for a surgery today in a, in a hospital a couple towns away. Um, I had to get his uh, gland drained because there was infection in it, right, from abscesses or an abscess in it. So I was going to go down, but they're going to keep him overnight, and I was going to go pick him up tomorrow, but he just texted me and told me that he's back in Bracebridge, and he's going to be spending the night here in town because they couldn't get all of the poison out. So they're going to keep him in the hospital and keep draining it, right? So hopefully, because it can still go into his system and hurt him, poison him, make you know, like bad. So... Hopefully they're competent enough to look after him, right? But he's a pretty smart man, and I think he'll he'll figure it out. He'll know how, what to do for himself, what to make them do for him, right? Because remember, don't let them order you around, right? They work for us. We don't work for them. Don't let them tell you what to do. You tell them what to do. This is what I've always told my children, you know? with anybody that's in a position of power over you, right? They work for you. Don't let them turn it around on you, okay? Because they've been programmed to do that. That's what their training is. So yeah, stand up for yourself, always. I don't care who you're dealing with, what their title is. It means nothing. Their titles mean nothing, okay? They'll have a two grade, a grade two education because the school systems have made people dumber, not smarter. But the ego will let them make them think that they're like brilliant and they know what's best. But that's the narcissism, right? So yeah, don't pay attention to it. You're the boss of you. Okay? All right. Um, I've been trying to figure out what indigenous tribe my ancestors come from since they were melanated people, right? And uh, what I've learned is that we are indigenous, so-called blacks right black and white aren't colors they're shades so yeah um but i've only been able to go back three generations to my great 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 grandmother and then we lose the trail right my great aunt my aunt did it um the family um research or lineage and she's talked to several different members of the family that i'm not i don't even know i've never met right because we've had a large family you know, like my ancestors did too, right? About six to eight kids all the time. And Toronto is as far as back as we can get to, right? Northwest Territories. We were told they shipped um, the slaves they set free from England to the Northwest Territories, and they've made their way back down through Canada into the United States. And my family line stayed here and became bush farmers, right? Well, my great-grandmother went, great-great-great-grandma owned Toronto, the um, Ontario Cent Science Centre, all the land, it was like 250 hectare farms she owned there until the government absorbed it, right? And then she moved up here, brought her family and started bush farms in this town. So, yeah, I kind of lost the trail. I don't know how to find out any more information, but, I imagine the higher forces, the um, beings that no more have the records will know. So hopefully I'll find out before my end. You know, I would like to know. But anyway, that's enough of that. Yeah, I think I said everything I needed to, I wanted to say. Um, just go take it easy. It's a yucky day out there. Well, it's not yucky, but it looks yucky, right? And there's nothing to do anyway. So, yeah, I got food. I'm going to make myself steak, mushrooms for supper. And 
and yeah. Oh, I've been watching old uh, Genie. I love. I, I dream of Genie and um, Bewitched and uh, another uh, old movie I used to, I've watched before. Right, it's a comedy kind of thing, and I've been watching it with my third eye, and I can see what the movies were talking about. Right, how they get sp uh, spies into the the military and stuff like that with their daughters, right? And get the the real smart um, soldiers to fall in love with them and marry them, and then they're under their control. That's one way, right? Get them in the family, you know, and keep them close, and then you can make them do what you want. Um, so many different things, really, you know, for sure. It is, yeah, I didn't see it before, but I see it now. So, I'm going to check some more out. I am. The stuff has already happened, but it's good training, right? To see how they do it. So, yeah. All right. I love you all's consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Bye.